They come from near and far to see the glamour and feel the suspense. Ericsson has searched the world over for the best mobile applications of 2004. This is the night when we all find out whose ideas hit the spot for the market, for mobile phone users, and for the future. Ericsson President and CEO Carl Henrik Svanberg was among the dignitaries in the audience. Now we're coming with the next generation with all these content applications and, and then we cannot sit in the laboratories back home and invent what people, young people in Germany or professional people in Brazil want. We need to do it on the barricades, in the marketplace and listen very carefully. This is exciting. Why is this a big deal? Because the Ericsson Mobile Application Award gives a pedigree that is invaluable and gives operators a chance to see market-ready ideas. Focusing on mobile application development, particularly now, it's extremely important. Recognizing small companies, truly a global feel, the number of countries represented. So I think this is extremely important for the industry as we launch 3G services. Twelve finalists are chosen from a field of more than 200 contestants. They present their applications live for five minutes during the awards event. The audience votes by SMS for its favorites, and a panel of esteemed judges featuring representatives from the industry, Ericsson Partners, and from the next generation of mobile users also votes for its favorites. The two parts are tallied 50-50, and winners are declared. The 2004 results in the four categories are entertainment, gaming, information, and enterprise. This is an application where you use your camera phone to take a portrait image and you send it as an MMS we will perform face recognition on this image, compare it to a database of celebrities, and the closest match we'll send back to the end user, uh, together with a similarity degree. And you will see yourself transformed into this celebrity. So it's a very simple idea, but uh, very funny. We like that people look like us. And if we know it's somebody who's famous, we have this idea that, well, it's because it looks like me or something. We have this vanity and we just like to have very easy things to do uh, when we don't have anything else to do. It's a 3G game and a 3D game, so it's a virtual person that we have developed, animated, and um, it's a very new type of game, interactive. Uh, the girl has a 24-hour day, and at any time of the day you can check in, talk with her, chat with her, and try to become her friend. You're eight minutes late. This is just something very new, something kind of crazy, but I think that's the success. Uh, it's called Wayfinder Euro Navigator, and it turns your mobile phone into a complete GPS-based navigation system. So it's really a, a fantastic product, I would say. And we have been on, uh, on the market for, for now 
almost a year, but but this recognition is worth so much for us because it, it means that we are we are regarded as a very valuable and, and a good application in the in the uh, uh, industry, and that means a lot to us. What would you, would you normally do with a uh, camera in a mobile phone? You make a picture. Uh, we try to enhance the, uh, the attractiveness of the mobile phone by offering something else. You could scan a barcode with a mobile phone. And what would you do by scanning a barcode? You link to information in the mobile internet. Like, for example, to product information. You could make price comparison, availability checking, or even do something else with, with codes, like, for example, business card scanning. It's just erasing the need for using a keypad of a mobile phone and getting this information in a condensed form in with a barcode by scanning this barcode with a mobile phone. The judges admit each choice was difficult. I picked um, the twin factor and the lava sphere. And why? Lava sphere is quite cool. I think it's very convenient. That's what I liked about it. And twin factor? It's cool. I can't wait to find out who's my twin. I vote for the Y Finder and Twin Factor. What did you like about Twin Factor? Uh, I think it's funny to know uh, which celebra celebrity looks like you, and and that's a funny way to to entertain you. The, the recognition. Um, application where you can match your identity to a, a celebrity. Um, I think that's got a lot of legs in the market. I think if you look at, at youth, if you, t if you look at some of the ways you can segment it, uh, that application is going places. I think that's brilliant. Um, in terms of the location-based service uh, for um, the driving directions, I've got to get that for my wife anyways because we live in the UK and it's a nightmare. That's obviously got legs. Um, so I, I think you know all of the applications I saw were good, but there was two or three that were outstanding. And no one says it better than the host himself. Just we saw everything, and when you consider those are the best 12, there's probably still a load of other great applications that, that Ericsson are bringing to the market. <laughs>